Hi! <laughs> so for today's video, I am going to be doing my hair because tonight we have a holiday family dinner. So over the pandemic, I've been growing out my hair. It used to be, I got it cut really short a while ago. I posted a bunch of videos all about that experience. I bleached it blonde, I did all kinds of stuff to it. It's actually blonde before the pandemic started. And of course, like everyone else, I just had to let it grow out. So it's pretty long now. It's the longest it's been in a long time. And so I thought I would dust off these electric heated rollers that I used to use all the time when my hair was really long to style it because it made it so easy. So we're gonna do that because I have some time today before we leave. And I also thought I could talk a little bit more about Bruce and ugh, show him off to you guys a little bit. So this is Bruce. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this is Bruce. He likes to be held like a little baby, but he only likes to be held by Jeremy and myself. He doesn't really like to be picked up he doesn't trust people very much and he has this fear of falling and slipping on floors. <laughs> He's got a lot of uh, quirks. He's Jeremy's dog. When I met Jeremy, Bruce was three. Now he's four and a half, almost five. And of course I fully adopted him as my child. I love him so much and we've gotten so close over the pandemic because I was working from home the whole time and I actually just started staying at Jeremy's right away and working at, out of Jeremy's place with Bruce. So the whole reason for that at the beginning was Jeremy asked if I wanted to work from his place because my apartment was going through renovations when everything shut down and it wasn't ideal for working from home. And also he was like, you can hang out with Bruce and Bruce would probably like the company because Jeremy works away from home and he had to work the entire time during the pandemic. <laughs> so it was a good excuse to hang out and of course we got very close over the entire year and a half so far of being home together every single day all day long and we have a nice little routine now and so I'll just share some of the little moments that we have every morning we get up and we go for a walk first thing in the morning and then I feed him his breakfast and then we just hang out for a while while I work. And then I'll take him for another walk. And a lot of times I take him to the dog park near here, which he loves. Are you waiting to get toweled off like a good boy? <laughs> okay. Let's dry you off. This is Bruce's favorite toy. It's a purple gorilla with most of the stuffing torn out of it. He's had it since he was a puppy. And whenever anybody comes over to the house, it's the first thing that he grabs. Or whenever we come home from wherever, he goes and grabs it right away and brings it over to us. So that's pretty cute. It's like his little safety blanket. So whenever we go traveling or camping or anything, this toy comes with us. Whoa! Are you are you excited that you're dry? Oh, do you want to play? Do you want to play? Whoa! You want to show your toy? Yeah, we're pretty inseparable when we're at home. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And like I said in my last video, we have to move. And Bruce actually came to this current home as a puppy, grew up here. So this will be the first time he's ever had to move. 
He's not great with moving because when I moved in here, you could tell it really stressed him out just having furniture moving around. And anytime we ever pack to go anywhere, like if we start pulling out our camping gear and start packing to go camping, he doesn't like that, but he always is coming with us. We don't often leave him behind anywhere. So anyways, I'm gonna go shower and then we're gonna start doing my hair, but I'm gonna show you some tricks that I taught Bruce over the pandemic. When I first met him, he knew how to sit. Oh, and he could shake a paw too. He could do that before. Okay. You could shake a paw before. So you could shake a paw and he could sit. So over the pandemic, I taught him how to lay down. I taught him how to speak. I taught him how to spin and I taught him how to play dead. And so if you ever want a video about how I taught him to do that, please let me know. But he's really smart and he learned all those tricks like really fast. Yeah. I was actually in the process of trying to teach him to roll over and then we got play dead instead. So then we just called it that, right? So I'm gonna go have a shower and actually when I shower, he likes to come in the bathroom and lay on the bath mat on the floor while I'm in there. It's a pretty codependent relationship. Okay, let's go. Hey Bruce, should we give you a bath today? Do you want a bath? Should we show everyone you know how to speak? You ready? Speak. Good boy. Just good boy. Shake a paw. Shake. Good job. Other paw. Good boy. You spin? Whoa, that's good. Can you lay down? Lay down. Ready? Catch. Whoa! My favorite one, bam. You're dead, good boy. Get ready, catch. Oh, the bathroom. I'm gonna have a shower, do you wanna come in? Oh, yep, yes he does. Should we put your bath mat down for you? So showered and I made a bunch of videos about this about if you have wavy hair and like how to encourage curls and all that other stuff um, and what one of the biggest takeaways that I've had is to use a microfiber towel to take care of your hair because instead of a regular cotton towel they're just too rough and they'll make your hair much more frizzier and they'll cause breakage and things like that especially if you do the whole like so what I do is when I'm finished showering, I grab this guy and it like has a little button in the back and I put my soaking wet hair, I don't brush it, I don't dry it, I don't do anything. I just put my soaking wet hair inside, twist it up. I leave it for about 15 minutes usually. How much time I have really just depends on the day. Sometimes I leave it in longer just to dry as much and like this, let this towel soak up as much moisture as it can before I blow dry because I've really stopped using heat tools that often now especially because of the pandemic and stuff so and seen a huge difference in my hair so today I'm using heat rollers I'm gonna have to blow dry my hair so I'm just trying to be as gentle with it as possible so I'm gonna do some things around the house and then we will blow dry I'm cooking breakfast Bruce is hanging out by my feet
Okay, so now I'm just going to take out my hair. It's been drying for like 20 minutes and just on its own naturally. And now I'm going to blow dry it at like a medium heat. I generally always forget to put hair heat protector, hair spray stuff on there, but you should if you remember. And I don't use any kind of fancy conditioners or any kind of products. I just try to remember to use a heat protector and that's about it. My scalp is also so sensitive to stuff that like I can't put gels and mousses and leave-in conditioners and sprays and stuff. My scalp will just freak out. I actually have psoriasis all around my hairline and stuff and I've made a video about that. If you have psoriasis you can check that out because I gave some tips in that how to manage it or what works for me anyway. So yeah we're going to dry it and then we're going to curl it. Okay so I have dried my hair. Bruce is just sitting on the bed staring at me wanting to know when I'm going to take him back outside again. Can you lay down? I'm going to be doing my hair right now, okay? So just lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Okay, so anyways, I have plugged in my heat rollers. These are very old. I honestly don't even remember where I got them from, but it was a long time ago. It doesn't take very long to put these in because I've done it so often. But basically what you do is you just take sections of about three inches. And what I like to do is if you start with the crown of your head, like all along the top part, um, and roll them away from your face. So you always wanna roll away from your face, not towards your face. And so you just wrap it around the top. And you just roll it down. And then these come with these little hook things that you just stick in like that. So generally it's like the longer you can leave these in to set your hair, the longer the curl or wave is going to be that it has, like the last longer but you don't want to leave them in for too long. I generally leave them in until the rollers have cooled down, depending how much time I have. And what I generally like to do is do this and then go do like my makeup or something, but I already did my makeup. So yeah, you just wrap it around the curler like this, wrapping the ends and then you just roll it up. So I'll probably do like a time lapse while I roll this all up. <laughs> so these are Con Air heat rollers and I can honestly say I've had them for well over 10 years. And they still work just as good as the day I got them. I've used them on my friend's hair. When I did my bodybuilding competition, I used them to do my hair myself. When I was younger, I actually really wanted to be a hairdresser and a makeup artist, and I loved doing all my friends hair and makeup. I definitely use these heat rollers on my friends many times, helping them get ready for their weddings, for parties, for dates. I just really enjoy it so much. And I've always kind of wanted, I've always kind of wanted to take a professional like makeup artist class course, schooling, training, but of course it's also very pricey if I don't intend to do that for my career. So I've tried, I've tried looking up on like YouTube and stuff to teach myself things. You know, you do what you can.
And I have two sections left and I have four rollers left. So there's always been, no matter how long my hair has gotten, I've always had more than enough of these to do it. One section to go. Voila! So that took me less than seven minutes to do. So now I'm just gonna let it sit and just go do some more random things around the house and I will check back in with you when I take them out. Okay, we're ready to take it out. Bruce has been napping while we've been waiting. You ready to see what mom's hair looks like? Yeah? <gasps> Am I obsessed with you? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay. We're gonna put them on the bed. So, just take this little container doodle and I put everything right back in. So it's been about 40 minutes. I should take my sweater off so you can see better. So does it look curly? I'll just take out more. Okay, let's take out another one. This could totally not work for whatever reason and then like it works. So back in the day I used to have these in my hair and I would do my makeup, make myself a drink before I was going out, listen to music, have a whole routine that was just so pleasant. I really enjoyed it. My favorite hands down part of going out ever when I was younger was getting ready. I love getting ready. Um, not so much like being out. Once I was out, I'd be counting the minutes till it was time to go home again. So the longer your hair is with these kind of rollers, the looser the curl will be because you have more hair wrapped around. The shorter your hair is or the finer your hair is, you'll probably get more bouncier curls. But this is just such a nice alternative to actually like curling your hair, which I usually do with a hair straightener um, if I'm in more of a time crunch. And I think my hair looks better with some waves in it over just being ironed straight. It gives it a lot of volume as well, which is fun. The last one. Okay. So we just flip it around and voila! Hair is done. So if you want looser curls than what you have when you pull out the rollers and just run your fingers through it more and then there's always the option to set it with some hairspray. If you use mousse in your hair before you dry it. So when it's wet, you put mousse in and then you dry it and then you put the rollers in, you'll probably get even more curl and more of a longer hold. But I'm okay with my curls kind of falling out. I just I just like it because it makes the ends have more body and yeah, it just looks nice. So all done. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while I did this. If you're curious about trying it yourself, I encourage you to. I'm sure you can find these on Amazon. Again, these were like the Conair heat rollers. Super easy to use. You just might need some practice with rolling up your hair, but honestly, after that, easy peasy. So that's it, and we're gonna head out to go for dinner. So I'll see you guys next week.
Okay, story.